Hello, I'm James Clark from the Department of Physiology at King's College London, and in this short tutorial I'm going to show you how to record a narrated PowerPoint presentation to share with your colleagues or students. I'm using the Apple Mac version of Microsoft Office and PowerPoint here, but the Windows version has very similar functionality, and the menu system is similar. The first thing to do before recording your narrated PowerPoint presentation is to make sure your microphone is working properly. On the Mac system, you can go to your Microphone Preferences under Sound Preferences. You can see it on the screen in front of you. And you need to check that your input volume for the active microphone is set correctly. You'll see that this level meter is showing that my voice is activating the dots up to about the three quarters position. So I might want to increase this ever so slightly and make my microphone a little bit louder. So once I'm happy with that, I should start the recording. On a Windows PC, you can go into the sound preferences in your control panel and just make sure that your input volume and the correct microphone is selected. Once you've confirmed that your microphone is working and everything is set up as default, PowerPoint will use your default microphone and your default recording device to record your voice. To record a narration, you need to go to the Slideshow tab of the menu bar and use the Record Slideshow button. If you use the Rehearse Timings button, it will simply record the time between each of the progressions of your slides, but will not record your voice. By clicking on the Record Slideshow button, it will start recording your presentation from slide number one and allow you to add voice recordings to each of your slides. So we've confirmed that our microphone is set up correctly and we're happy with our slides. We have three slides all ready to be presented. In a previous tutorial, I showed you how to set up your slideshow so that it's browsed by an individual in a window. Unfortunately, when recording a slideshow, you cannot use this function because by default, PowerPoint will present your slides full screen. With this in mind, I recommend you use the notes field or have printed notes in front of you when preparing your presentation. This will mean that you don't necessarily need to be prompted too much to know what to say to each slide. But as we know from presenting slides, quite often the content of the slide will inspire you. So without further ado, let's start our recorded slideshow by clicking on record slideshow. We start with our presentation title and our first slide. Things to note on the screen in front of you is that the timing for the current slide appears on the screen in front of you at the top and the total timing for the entire presentation appears on the left hand side. So if you're trying to achieve your presentation within a given time it's worth keeping an eye on both of these times. On the right hand side it'll show you the time of the day. Next to the total time button is a pause button and a start again button. The start again button goes back to the beginning and you can start recording again. The pause button quite literally stops the recording there and then and when you press the play button again like this it'll start recording the slide where you left off. It's worth noting your computer will need to process your recording before you can move on to the next slide so it's worth pausing ever so slightly at the end of each slide before moving on to the next slide. It is also very important to note that you cannot be talking while you move on between slides. Quite often when you're giving a live presentation, you may well be talking as you present a transition from one slide to another. You can't do this if you're doing a narrated PowerPoint presentation. What's quite unfortunate about these narrated presentations is your mouse is not recorded. While I'm waving my mouse around the screen, it makes no difference to the recording. Equally, if you choose to show a laser pointer using the show laser pointer option, this also will not be recorded in your recording. So let's move on to the next slide. This is my first slide. You'll notice I paused ever so slightly before starting the first slide, just to make sure that the recording was working. Speak slowly while doing your narrations. Don't rush. Take your time. Make sure that you explain things clearly. Use builds where possible. 
I said this before, you cannot use your laser pointer or your mouse. So if you are just talking to a slide where the entire slide appears in one go, you may find it difficult to explain concepts that you're trying to describe to your students or colleagues. So by using builds and then using either your mouse or your cursor keys to transition through these builds, you'll find it much easier to describe your slides in good detail. Keep things simple. Break your slides down into small numbers of bullet points or small numbers of facts or images. Keep things as simple as you can do to make your presentation flow well. But this is a, a technique that we should all be using in our presentations anyway. I'm now moving on to the last slide and I'm just going to record pretty much the same thing. Keep slowly, use builds and keep things simple. When you've finished your recording, and this is quite important, certainly on the Mac version, is don't click on the next slide by clicking on the cursor key. You need to click on the End Show button, which you'll find at the top left-hand side of the screen. So when I'm convinced that I've finished my presentation, I'm happy that I've recorded a three-minute long slideshow, and my current slide is 33 seconds, I can click on End Show. This returns us to PowerPoint. And if I show my slides on the left-hand side, you'll notice that every slide has this little speaker icon. There we go, every slide. That speaker icon is your recording. And you'll notice that your speaker icon has a little play and a shuttle button on it. If I click on the play button, we start with our presentation title and our first slide. There we go, we can have a listen to each of our slides. You'll notice if you go to the playback pane for this audio, it will start automatically with the slide. By default, PowerPoint does this with your narrations. As you move on to the first slide, it will automatically play the audio for that slide. Don't change that setting, because this will require somebody to click a button, and you've already saved the timings for each slide, so you want the audio to start automatically at the beginning. Just check on each slide that your audio is recorded and you are happy with the recording. If you are not happy with the recording of one slide, you can click on this audio icon and delete it, and then go back into the slideshow, record slideshow, making sure you're on the slide you want to record, and click on start recording. And now I can start talking to my first slide. I can re-record the slide, make sure I'm happy with the recording, and when I'm happy with the recording for this slide, by speaking slowly, using builds where possible, and keeping things simple, I can then end the show. What this has now done is it has replaced the recording on slide number two with the new recording. This is really handy with PowerPoint, so it means if you do make a mistake during your presentation, you can go back and record individual slides and correct things that you've done wrong. Once you're happy, just save your presentation and everything has been saved with the voice recordings. If you're unsure that it's all worked, why not watch your own presentation? We start with our presentation title and our first slide. Things to note on the screen in front of you. That all looks good to me, so I'm happy with my presentation. So I can save that and upload that anywhere I like to share my presentation with anybody.